हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on the integration with Zoho Books and Inventory plugin in which I will demonstrate how to set up the plugin. You can check and buy the plugin from the video's description or for any doubts you can put your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. Before proceeding with the plugin setup part, let's understand what is integration with Zoho Books and Inventory plugin. Integration with Zoho Books and Inventory is a plugin that provides woocommerce merchants three uh, three pre configured feeds contacts invoice and items these feeds facilitate the seamless synchronization of corresponding woocommerce objects data to zoho books and inventory moreover the plugin offers features like auto sync one click sync and bulk data sync real time sync and automatic logs deletion and much more now let us move to the plugin backend settings We are on the WordPress dashboard and before we move to the plugin backend settings if you really like watching the plugin setup videos make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video So we are on the WordPress dashboard and before we move to the plugin setup part if you really like watching the plugin setup videos make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video So before we move to the plugin backend settings let us first see how we can easily install the plugin So for installing the plugin you have to go on install plugin or you can click on add new plugin and here you can go to woo.com and here you can search for integration with zoho books and inventory and once you have got the plugin zip file here you can upload the plugin and then you can click on activate and once you have activated the plugin so here this is the plugin that is integration with zoho books and inventory so let us click on settings We are on the backend settings of integration with Zoho Books and Inventory plugin. So here as you can see that once you have installed and activated the plugin and you have clicked on settings, so you will be redirected to this uh, you will be redirected to this dashboard where firstly you can see that firstly you need to connect your Zoho Books and Inventory account with WooCommerce. So here you can log in uh, here uh, with your ID. Uh, once you, so once you have logged in with your ID, then you can click on connect your account. so further uh, when you have connected your account then you can uh, create feeds for your contacts products and orders and then you can sync your data over zoho books and inventory so let's click on connect your account so here as you can see that uh, firstly you need to uh, like login and authorize so here we have provided uh, the two options like uh, here this is the client id and secret id that you can enter uh, and second option is use global app so directly you can log in and authorize so it will be directly authorizing with zoho uh, without entering any keys so here uh, next you have to check the zoho domain like here as you can see that so here it is showing dot in so here you, here you we need to select in so whatever the domain is there zoho domain is there so you can select so from here so once you have selected zoho domain uh, zoho domain then you can choose product like zoho books or zoho, or zoho inventory So firstly I am clicking Zoho Books and now let me click on login and authorize. So as you can see that as we have clicked on login and authorize so we are redirected to this page. So for login and authorization uh, it's from Zoho's end like you have to accept uh, button uh, you have to accept it in order to login and authorize. So let's click on accept. Authentication has been successfully done. So now let's click on move to next step uh, for creating the feeds. Here three default feeds are there default contact feeds default items feed and default invoice feed so firstly let's click on create feeds so now let's move to next step so as you can see that uh, we have successfully set up the integra integration with zoho books and inventory plugin and now we can uh, start syncing the data so uh, with this let's click on view dashboard So here as you can see that for now the contacts items and invoices is showing zero uh, because we have not performed any sync uh, so uh, firstly uh, this is the dashboard and here you can click on reauthorize or if you want to disconnect the account so from here you can easily do it 
and here you, as you can see that this is the access token that here you can click on this to refresh the access token so this uh, this is the dashboard of integration with zoho books and inventory where you can easily see how many contacts items and invoices are synced so now let us move to next tab that is feeds so we are on the feeds uh, tab so basically in this plugin we provide three default feeds that are uh, invoice feed contact feeds and items feed and for now all the feeds are active and we have selected different objects events and primary field and as you can see that in in this contact feeds we have selected the primary field uh, as contact name so the primary field is mandatory as well as unique so by default three uh, feeds we provide like invoice feed items feed contact feeds and if you want to add more feeds so from here you can add the feeds so here you can give the title and uh, you can select the objects and you can create the new custom feed so let me click on any of these like default contact feed so here you can click on edit and this is the default contact feed and here the object that I have selected or this is the object selected as contacts now let's hover on this map fields so here as you can see that here this is the contact name and here is the field type custom value and his, this is the custom value like uh, billing first name and billing last, uh, last name uh, should be mapped in this contact name and company name what field value should be there billing company should be there so this is how you can uh, select the field type here from here and if you want to give custom value so you can also give custom value here and here you can select the different field value that you want to map with this particular uh, like fields so all that all that you can do it from here and when you will scroll down so here we have also provided like uh, if you want to add new field so from here you can select the new field and if you want to change the primary field like uh, this is the primary field that is we have selected contact name so uh, whatever the primary field that you have selected so that will be used as a primary key uh, that to update an existing record so uh, like if you want to uh, use so you can select the primary field from here like uh, as per your requirements so for now we have selected like the primary field as contact name for this particular feed next at what event you want to uh, trigger this feed so we have selected like whenever the new order is created so this contact feed will be uh, uh, this contact feed will be triggered next is conditional filter so in this plugin you also get uh, you also get this functionality of enabling the uh, conditional filters uh, for data syncing so that uh, you can enable this to add conditional filters on data syncing so let's click on this and let's click on this so from here you can easily set the conditional filter that uh, as per your requirements uh, like here you can select the field uh, like let me select like first name and here let me select any of the condition and here you can enter the value so basically i have uh, set the conditional uh, so i have set the condition like first name uh, should not be empty so basically if the conditional filter is applied so the feed will not be triggered until the conditional filters conditions are fulfilled so basically from here you can apply the conditional filters and you can add the conditional uh, and you can add the conditions on data syncing as per your requirements so from here you can easily enable or disable this if you want to apply a conditional filter like let's suppose if you have selected like uh, first name uh, should be there in this uh, field so here you can select uh, like uh, so if you want to disable this conditional filter so from here you can disable this and one more thing like let's suppose if you have added any new field and here you have selected any field so it will not show here until you have clicked on this uh, like refresh field so once you have clicked on refresh fields so whatever the new field that you have added so will be reflected here so once you have done all the changes or you have created this so you can click on update now let us go back to feeds so if you want to make all the edits or the changes so same you can do for the items feed also and invoice feed also and here you can select the at, at what event or what primary field you should be there in particular feed so from here you can select by clicking on this edit button so this was all about the feeds tab now let us move to data sync tab so we are on the data sync tab so here we have provided two uh, like two ways of syncing like bulk data sync and one click sync so basically with bulk data sync you can sync all the woocommerce objects of your site of your woocommerce store to a zoho box in one click that means if you are just uh, if you have just connected your account so you can perform bulk data sync 
and once you have synced all the data then afterwards like if you want to sync the new or unsync data or failed WooCommerce objects data of your site to Zoho Books so then you can perform one click sync like if you want to perform bulk data sync like even you have selected like bulk data sync so if you have selected like items and you will and you have selected feeds like default items feed and as soon as you will click on start sync uh, it will sync all data irrespective of new or failed uh, WooCommerce objects but if you have clicked one click sync it will only sync all the new or failed WooCommerce objects uh, to the Zoho books in one click so if you want to perform like bulk data sync like uh, just connected your account so you can perform the bulk data sync and after that you can perform one click sync to sync the new or failed WooCommerce objects to the Zoho books so uh, let's click on start sync now let's select contacts so the process has been completed for this also now let's perform bulk data sync for invoices so as you can see that the process has been completed and the objects have been synced so now let us go to dashboard so as you can see that the items it, it is showing 22 invoices it is showing one and contact it is showing one and now let us go to logs so here as you can see that it is showing like so here as you can see that uh, it is showing like here in this log section you can see the feed and you can see the wo object and wo object id zoho books object and here zoho books object id so uh, as you can see that here it is showing zoho books object id so it is showing here so from here you can easily uh, see the time at which it was uh, like synced so here as you can see that uh, it is the time and if you want to reload or clear the log or download so from here you can click on this and here you can see like what is the request and what is the response is there and if any error is there so it will not it will not show the zoho books object id in some uh, fields if any error is there next uh, i will explain you like uh, when i will go to shop page and let's place any order and let's place the order so the order has been received now let us go to the backend settings now let me update this uh, to complete it and now when i will go to like data sync and now let me perform only one click sync to sync the new or failed woocommerce data now let us go to dashboard so as you can see that now the contacts are showing uh, two and invoices synced that is showing two so as we have performed one click sync so uh, that contacts and invoices have been synced and you can in check in the log section also as you can see that here this was the orders and we have performed like invoice contact and items feed so here as you can see that the zoho object zoho books object id it is showing here uh, so the syncing has been completed successfully so firstly we have performed one click sync over items then contacts and then invoice so as you can see that all the details related to feed wo object wo object id zoho books object and zoho books object id it is showing here and at what time it has done so from here you can easily see it so this was all about the uh, log section now let us move to next tab that is settings so we are on the settings tab so in this uh, settings we have provided various functionalities like instant sync background sync woo sync logging and if you want to delete the log after number of days so from here you can select and if you want to wipe the data on disconnect so from here you can click on this so all the data will be wiped off so firstly uh, this is the instant sync so the basic difference is that like if you if you have enabled instant sync so it is recommended that you can use either of uh, two like instant or background sync so if you have enabled instant sync so the data will be synced according to the feed event but if background sync in, uh, background sync is enabled so uh, the data will be synced after every five minutes so if you want to like uh, run the syncing for every five minutes and if you want to sync the data automatically so uh, you can enable this background sync or if you want to enable instant sync to sync the data instantly according to the feed event so from here you can enable this next if you want to enable the log creation to uh, check the status of the sync data like if this is disabled and let me click on save changes so now let me go to logs so as you can see that it is showing disclaimer like please enable the log to see the sync log so from here you can enable or disable this and now when i will go to log section so all the logs are visible now next is if you want to delete the log after particular number of days so from here you can select the number of days 
so after the days are completed so all the logs will be deleted from the database so all the logs will be deleted uh, from the database after this decided number of days next is if you want to wipe the data on the disconnect like for now i have not enabled this and now let me go to dashboard and now let me click on disconnect and now when i will connect uh, now when i will click on connect your account so now let me click on uh, now let me follow the same process so as you can see that uh, as soon as i have disconnected and reconnected the account so automatically the contacts item and invoices are synced automatically because in the settings we have not enabled this functionality to wipe the data on disconnect so as soon as i will click on wipe data on disconnect and let me click on save changes and now let me go to dashboard and now let me click on disconnect and now let me follow the same process and now let me click on view dashboard so now as you can see that as we have selected the option to wipe the data on disconnect so all the data has been wiped off all the data has been wiped off and here at here as you can see that the contacts items and invoices it is showing zero so as soon as we will perform the bulk data sync so all the uh, data will be synced so the process has been completed for this so now let us go to dashboard so as you can see that contacts items and invoices have been synced so this is how you can easily sync your uh, data over zoho books and inventory and now let me click on disconnect to show you how you can connect with inventory so the procedure will be same so let me click on connect your account and here let me select zoho inventory and let me click on login and authorize so here when i will go to log section so here let me perform like uh, data sync so now let us uh, sync this also and let me click on invoice feed and start sync so the process has been completed now let us go to log tab so here as you can see that the invoices items and contacts feed have been done uh, had we be, have been synced so the only difference is that it will show like in place of zoho books object id it will show zoho inventory object id all the process will be same including data sync feeds settings dashboard connection all the process will be same and only difference is that so once you have uh, once you are starting with connection so either you have selected zoho books or inventory so when you have selected inventory so in the sync log section so here you will see the zoho inventory object id and here you will also see zoho inventory object but you have selected zoho book so it will show zoho book object and zoho book object id so the only difference is this rest all the process and syncing is same so this was all about the demo video on integration with zoho books and inventory plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description content you can check and get all the details for any doubt contact us anytime and we will be glad to help you and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionalities you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you